Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning Still. Thank you so much for sticking with us. My name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you today on this fine Monday morning. And uh, today we want to have a discussion on personal branding. This is concerning your career on right here on youth and politics. What is personal branding? What is personal branding? What is it that comes into your mind when we talk about <coughs> branding? How can you ensure that your brand sells you and that it sells your product in a way that makes you stand out from the rest? Today, let's talk about personal branding right here on uh, Why in the Morning. And to help us in this particular discussion, I am with uh, the one and the only George Simiu. He is an author, a professional speaker, and a HR expert. Karibu sana, George. Sante sana, Mr. How are you doing, my brother? I'm doing well. I know it's been a long time since we I had a agree, discussion. Today. But we thank God at least again today we're meeting. Uh, karibu <laughs> yes. sana. Ashkuru. Um, let's first of all uh, start with the personal branding's definition. Um, when we talk about personal branding, um, how would you define it in a nutshell? Well, there are so many ways to define this uh, term, but um, if, if you just look at it, it's personal branding. So uh, you just need to understand that when we talk about personal, these are attributes that are unique to you. Mm -hmm. and then when we talk about um, uh, branding is now, how do you package those attributes and maybe in this marketplace and sell yourself out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, to well, different that is unique to you. Yes, that's why you call it personal branding. People can copy paste ideas. That's true. But is it possible for you to stand out with that copy paste idea as an individual? Um, when it comes to personal branding, I think um, it's very much important for you to be unique and authentic. Mm -hmm. like, and one of the things that people are struggling with today is um, trying to be some people whom they are not. Like mm. Oscar Wilde puts it this way that uh, mm. be yourself, everyone is taken. So, so one of the <laughs> things people are really trying to lose it is... Um, we begin by trying to be so and so. I want to be like Ram. Or I want mm. to be Ram. You know, I cannot be you. I mm. can just be the best version of myself. So when it comes to this personal branding, you really have to understand that um, you have one to identify, rather know yourself. Like you as Ram. Mm. Like know who is Ram uh, in terms of what are your um, attributes, you know. And these are the very things now you package and I'll sell it out to the market. What makes you stand out? Yes, that's what makes uh, you unique. Uh -huh, what makes you unique? Yes. Uh, uh, <coughs> I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, so many people always look up to someone. That's we true. all have that person that we look up to. That's true. That mentor <laughs> that uh, uh, we, we see every day and want to emulate. Uh -huh. um, is it okay to want to be like someone? I know you, you, I remember you've mentioned that a few moments ago. Sure. Is it okay to want to be like someone? You admire them. You admire how they walk, how they talk, how they handle my, uh, issues concerning life, how mm -hmm. they handle matters. Mm -hmm. You admire how they dress, yes. how they think. You mm -hmm. admire their career path. Mm -hmm. And some go to the point of doing uh, courses that are in line with our mentor's mm -hmm. career path. Is it okay mm -hmm. to admire someone and to want to emulate them? Well, it's okay to admire but not to be like them. Not to be them. I don't know if I get, uh, you uh -huh, get me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're coming, you know, you're I coming. can be admiring who you are, mm. but I don't want to be you. Don't be a copy person yes. of me. Yes. Like what I just mentioned, every one person is taken. So why should I try to be like Ram? I can only just borrow a few things uh, from your life. Mm -hmm. But I have in the back of my mind that I have to remain to be George. You know, yeah, you know this yeah, world yeah. is always trying to force us to be like somebody else. Mm. Like, why don't you be like so-and-so? Why don't you? Especially when it comes to these matters of our mentorship. Even parents tell you, be like the son of so-and-so who you is get doing it. this. And so along the line, we get to lose ourselves because we are trying to be like somebody. Mm. And now we lose our brand. And in this world, you can't fake something for long. Yeah. You, you'll try to fake to be somebody, but after a while, then you'll still go back to your default. At some point, you'll notice that, no, this is not my trajectory. Your nature will just click yes. back. Yes. Factory settings. So you really, as much as you want to, we have to admire people. That's okay. We have to learn. We learn from people. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But you should not really be like them. Because you be you. 
be you. That's what sets you apart. And that's what now uh, brings in the issues of this brand. So you can pick up tips from them. Yes. Take up ideas. Yes. But customize them in your own way. In your own unique way. I cannot speak the way you speak, for example. But maybe I can admire how you listen, how you do things. You get it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can learn something from it. But now, at any time I begin to try to speak like the way you speak, I am losing myself. How far does personal branding go? Are we talking just in terms of career, in terms mm -hmm. of businesses? Where, where is it applicable? Because someone may say, mm -hmm. ah, um, I'm not in business. <laughs> I, I, do, I don't need a personal <laughs> brand. Very Who does it apply to? Allow me to say this. There's always a myth people always think, to begin with, mm. that personal branding belongs to the celebrities. Mm. Like, because uh, you, Ram, uh, you know, uh, these big people, people always think that way. And that's mm. wrong. It's, it's something we need to really uh, do away with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So somebody will talk to you and say, I, I, I don't think I need to be, uh, to have this personal brand mm -hmm. or I don't need to work on it. it doesn't apply but let me, me say this. Mm -hmm. Whether you know it or you don't know it, you're a brand. What everyone makes, is. Everyone is a brand. Now what makes the difference is how you are marketing, how you're selling your brand, how you're building up your brand. And now that's what differentiates us in the market. Those who work on, on their brand, they are out there. People can recognize them. You are here because of your brand. Mm -hmm. Work on your brand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so, so the, the issue is uh, whether you know it or you don't know it, your brand. So, and now when you know it, now you keep on working on it. Then also let me just mention this, that personal branding is a journey. It's not just an event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When does that journey start? <laughs> No. That <laughs> <laughs> when does that journey start? I mean, you know, because I'm looking at the age yeah. of the young people that are watching mm. us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, does someone who is in primary have the right of, of, of saying that I want to build up my personal brand? Um, uh -huh. uh, is there a particular age limit when it comes <laughs> to uh, the, this, the start of this journey, this journey that you're talking about? Yeah, and, and it's just like the very question I can ask you. When does the car a career begin? Ah. Is it when you graduate from the <laughs> university or the college? Uh -huh. Or when, you know, that's the very question. Like, but now let me just take you back to what you're asking me. When does this start? I, I, I love that. I love it that. starts when you realize that it's important in your life. Because that's when you begin to take it serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can a parent help a child to build up a personal brand? Yes. How can that apparently yes, do that? Yes, by trying to really make the child understand that there is this thing called personal branding and you really need to be deliberate about it as early as uh, that age. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are those parents perhaps they began to be a bit more careful about this personal branding when maybe they are going into entrepreneurship, they are going into careers. You see, then they will also think that that is a time when you should start working on this stuff. So you should pick out what your child is interested in yes, from a tender age yeah. and help it harness it up yes. and build that brand yes i love the parents are you uh, hearing that you're hearing that it is important personal branding starts from the time that you reali you realize mm. the the path someone wants to mm -hmm. take mm -hmm. okay oh, okay okay i love that i love that let's talk about now some of these tips how okay. how, how can we build a personal brand Okay. Because you said it's a journey. That's a journey. You said it applies to everybody. That's true. And we've defined what it is. Yeah. The tips. Now that I know it's a journey, uh -huh. how can I build my brand? All right. Um, even before I share a few on that, allow me to say that this uh, branding thing, it can refer to a product, mm -hmm. a person like you and me, or a service. Okay. Yeah. A product, and, uh, uh, a person. Or a service. Or a service. Uh, and now you see all these things come in our life at different times. But now let's talk about a person, mm -hmm. like you and me. Uh, but as even you go into that, you have to remember that now in this market where we're going in, um, people well, will come to you because you're a brand. Mm -hmm. People will value you based on your brand. We call the brand value. Mm. Uh, and something like that. Um, sometimes you attract who you are. What uh, Sometimes people think that... Um, mm. I'll attract um, quite a number of, of say, resources, um, but, but the brand does not really matter. But let me just tell you this, that brand matter. Mm. You attract who you are, not what you want. So, and now this begins to take us back to now this journey of personal branding. You have mm. to begin to develop yourself into what 
you want. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so what do you do? Number one thing I can just um, quickly say, know yourself. That's where you start the whole matter. Identify. Know who you are. Mm -hmm. um, and that uh, takes you to the um, question of uh, who are you? What's your identity? Yes, your identity. Because that's what you're going to sell to the market. Mm -hmm. That's what people are coming to. They're, 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 they'll be, people will be interested in. Because there we are looking at <coughs> someone who is still trying to find out who they are. Yeah. So who are you? Because once you know who you are, you'll know how to market yourself. But if you don't know who you are, most likely you'll get it wrong. Mm -hmm. You'll place your lad on the wrong wall. Then after some time you've climbed up, then you realize, no, I should have placed it on this wall. So to begin with, know who you are because everyone is taken. The challenge is like what I mentioned when we started, people are trying to be who they are not. We mm. fake it big time. And there is this belief that fake it till you make it. That does not uh, apply. In personal branding, Just, no, like, throw that out. Who, who started that to begin with? You know, we need to understand the context of <laughs> but, that. But, but you've had that. Fake yes, I've had it big time, but, but yes, I, I, I don't believe in that. Be yourself. Because anytime you're going to faking it, you're going to, you know, just look at it this way. Um, any fake brand in this market does not last for long. Uh -huh. That's true. It, it may seem to be doing well, but after some point, the original one will just be... It will come in and people say, ah, this is what we want. It's the mm. same thing with branding. Mm -hmm. the, uh, how long are you going to fake it? Be yourself. Be original. Be yourself. Be original. Be, be authentic. Your, uh, the original see me you. Yes. Let people know you for who you are. Not what you are not, you're trying to be. Wow. <laughs> wow. So to begin with, be yourself. To begin with, be yourself. Be yourself. Find out who you are. Find out who you and are. I'm looking at this teenager who is still having this identity crisis. Yes, yes. <laughs> And, 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 and knowing <laughs> thyself becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I want us to talk to parents today, Asimio. Yes, sir. Um, uh, talk to this parent today. How can a parent help their child to, uh, throughout this journey of self-discovery? Um, allow me also to say, say this, that um, self-discovery is a journey. It's not, again, an event that you just wake up today then you know yourself. Mm. Even you and me, we're still discovering ourselves as we move, or rather walk in this journey of life. Mm. And Because uh, if, if, even at our, at our age, we're yes, still Yes, there are some things we don't know ourselves. Yeah. You get surprised, hey, so this is me? <laughs> you get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and also this child, um, you have to be patient with this child. But before even go into that, um, it's good for me to mention to you that uh, in this life, again, you'll notice that um, there is no recovery without discovery. Mm. Until you discover yourself, you never recover anything, even if in the life of that child. So you need to discover, okay, what are the things that are good in this child? What is he um, or she good in as early as that time? Then you begin to really push them in that line. Okay. Package okay. them so that um, as they go on, they grow in it. You know, you grow in your brand as well. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. you grow in your brand. So we're saying a tip of growing your brand, number one, identify who you are. Mm -hmm. Get your identity. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get more tips here. Um, so after, you, after you've identified yourself? Then you have to really now package yourself. Package. But how you do your things? What do you mean when you say packaging? Personal, I'm, I, I'm calling it personal packaging. <laughs> <laughs> we said personal branding just about um, identifying the unique attributes about yourself. You yeah. are a good communicator, uh -huh. you are a journalist and all that. So what happens is you had to package yourself. You went to college, you are gone through internships, many job experiences. You see, mm -hmm. that's been packaging yourself to mm -hmm. be a brand when it comes to this kind of uh, trajectory. Uh -huh. So, so you really now begin to really align. So what are some of the areas that can really make me stand out or rather uh, bring out the best of myself? Mm -hmm. That is still part of packaging yourself. What are some of the market that I should focus on and uh, what is the key thing there? That's there. for our youth. Yeah, go do there. It. Then as you do that, something else you need to do uh, when it comes to this journey is be visible. Be visible. Yeah. That's number three, be visible. Yeah, let people know like uh, drama exists. <laughs> You know, okay. Otherwise, how will you know that uh, you, you you're a good uh, journalist? You have to do your stuff, and people see. When you say it be is visible, um, I want you to be very clear here because now <laughs> I, I, I know somebody <laughs> is thinking, 
Um, how far is too far in terms of this aspect of visibility? Um, um, are we talking about trending? Because now people do so many things to trend. Are, are, are we talking about just making seri a series of posts every now and again? Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, how far are we talking about here? You know, uh, let me use this analogy. I don't know how our audience will really understand it. Mm. Um, somebody puts it. Um, it's like blinking to a girl in darkness. Okay. Will she see it? She will not. And so it's the same thing with this. There must be light. There must be light. People, has to see, people have to see it. And so uh, very importantly is uh, for you to be visible is um, let, let people know what you do. Mm -hmm. um, let people identify you with it because that's very much important. Um, as, 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 as you do that, uh, be consistent when you're doing this stuff because um, the, this genre of personal branding, like what I mentioned to you, is um, it's not an event. Like it just happened one day and it's yeah. a journey that you have to walk in. So as you're visible again, people have known what you do, then also be consistent. Let people really um, don't come to a point of asking themselves, uh, we used to see this guy do this stuff. Where did he disappear to? Be consistent. Yeah. I'm not wow. saying that it, no, it will be easy, no. Sometimes this journey is tough. But because you know who you are and you're building up, you know, you know, you know you're building up a brand is like any other thing. You know? You, know, you know, sometimes people get tired. Yeah. You, you, you lose content. Yes. <laughs> sometimes you can lose content. <laughs> you can. I don't know if you found yourself <laughs> in that position. Big time. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. So what do I post today? Uh -huh. You have to. But that's it. You have to really... Think out, the, out, out of the bracket and see what to do. Mm -hmm. But if, again, you're in the right trajectory, most likely you'll never get stuck. You'll never get stuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. And anybody can do that. Yes. If you're faking it now, that's when the time comes if you realize, hey. I can't proceed. I can't proceed. I think now let me change it to something else. But mm -hmm. if it was within something that uh, uh, is within your calling, I think you cannot really struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. now, and, and now, um, when it comes to support, mm -hmm. um, do we have things that uh, we need as individuals that can help us build our brands mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, that we can use, that somebody can at home can use to build their brands? Because now they're saying, you know, I want to do this, but I don't know where to start from. Okay, at mm -hmm. home, something that can just really um, help this person build up a brand. B build a brand, resources that are available for them. Someone may say, I want someone to buy me a camera. Mm -hmm. I don't have money to buy a camera, so I cannot build my personal brand. I don't have a family to help me, to support me, so I cannot build a personal brand. Um, Is there, uh, do we have these support systems or resources that can help an individual build a brand? Yes, they're there. Mm -hmm. They are there. I believe resources are everywhere. The, the, in, you know, you always say that you, start, you have to start from somewhere to get somewhere. Yeah. To get where you want. Mm. And, and that somewhere could be where you are or is where you are. There's a reason why you're there. Mm -hmm. Yes. People build brand from anywhere. But if you cannot see the opportunities around you, then you'll always think that the other side is better or I need this and that. Mm. If you really interrogate that, you realize that uh, sometimes we even say, you've just mentioned something that somebody say, maybe I don't have this and that, and maybe something that's starting on, on money. You, you don't really need money to build up a brand. Mm. Yes, it's important, but some of the things you may need, they are not really about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. like for example, say associations. Uh, associations matter when it comes to personal branding. The people you associate with. Your networks. Yeah, your networks. That is important. Do you, do you, do you really need uh, just you to make yourself um, available and hang out with those people? Let them share with you their mind. Also share with them what you know. You get that? Mm -hmm. Because as mm -hmm. you know, personal branding or other branding, people can either build or dilute your brand. Wow. Yeah. Thank you so much, George. That brings yes, us to, uh, to the end of this discussion. George, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate your presence. Welcome, this, it's, uh, it has been all about matters concerning personal branding. How can you build your personal brand? And of course, I was with George Simiu, an author and a professional speaker, also a HR expert. Uh, George, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Asana, sana. Karibu. And of course, that brings us to the end of this uh, discussion right here on Career Talk. On this fine Monday morning, we're taking a short break. We'll be back with more. My name is Ram Maguko. It has been a pleasure.